Hi, and welcome to Healy Fit with your instructor, Jen. For more, don't forget to subscribe, click like, or select notifications. Today, I have a Pilates class for you that is going to focus on your arms and your abs. So let's take it down to the mat. From kneeling, reach the arms out to the front edge, sit back, hips to heels, and just breathe. Awesome, let's slowly round up into a kneeling plank. Exhale down and then slowly push up and back into child's pose. Let's do that a few more times. Come up, arc, 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 down into a light push up and then press back into child's pose. Good, so almost like a wave rounding to the shore. Exhale down to the mat, inhale, push away, Exhale, sit back. Awesome, starting to feel a little bit more warmth into the front shoulder and chest muscles. Keep the elbows slightly pointed backward, pit of the elbow facing forward. And then make sure your hands are spread out nice and wide from thumb to pinky. Awesome, almost there. And let's hold from your plank. Slowly raise the knees up and then release the knees to the floor. Awesome, toes curled under heels. Just lift the knees up from the mat. Keep the shoulders spread across the back chest pushed all the way to the sky keep your core braced belly button pulled back towards the spine awesome keep going god pull your belly up and in towards your spine nice strong core Let's bring it down onto your right elbow. Left hand reaches up to the sky and then slowly comes back down. Good, reach up and then twist hand back to the floor. Good, into your side plank. Now you could bring your back knee down or you could keep both feet back behind you into a full plank, whatever you're ready for. Maybe taking it nice and easy to begin and then picking it up a notch as we progress through our workout today. Let's go to the other side. Go ahead, right hand up to the sky, right hand down to the mat. Elevate and release. Go ahead, rolling the hips open to the side wall. God, keeping pressure on the entire forearm from fingertip all the way to elbow. Awesome, let's bring it back into the center. From your plank, let's open, open, open. Now you can stay with that earlier option, especially if you have wrist issues or you can follow along with me into your full side plank. Try to keep the glutes down. Try to keep the chest open. And then pull, 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 hand up to the sky. Go ahead, keep length from toes to crown. Again, you could bring that back knee down or stay elevated. Remember, intensity is your choice, your option, your opportunity to progress at whatever level you deem appropriate. Good. Let's come down onto both forearms and then come back up to your hands. Good. So elbow, elbow, hand, hand, elbow, elbow, 
hand, hand. Good. Again, kneeling or from your plank on your toes. Again, choosing the intensity that works best for you. Good. Nice wide stance from thumb to pinky. So really spread those hands out so we take some of the pressure out of the wrist. Good, still keeping your core braced, abs in nice and tight, belly button to spine. Awesome, let's hold down onto our forearms, lift the knees up and down. Good, so just a little bit different than earlier, still squeezing the belly button up and in towards the spine, lifting those knees up off the mat and then releasing them back down to the floor. You could also do a hand-to-hand -hand stance, so either reaching your hands to your elbows or taking your hands, making a fist, pushing each fist towards one another, making more of a triangle out to the front. Let's let that go. Ah, awesome stretch from hips to chest. Let's roll over onto one side. Good, we're gonna push up with the left hand. So take the left hand towards the right elbow, push up and away from the floor onto your hip and then come right back down. Good, so this is working into the tricep. Press the floor away and then bring it right back down. Good, let's do a few more on this side, working into the tricep, really using that hand, pushing into the floor from fingertip to heel of palm, squeezing into the back of the arm into your triceps. Come back in through center, roll to the other side. Left hand wraps around the outer edge of the obliques, right hand in front of the elbow, pushing the floor away so you come up onto a side seated position and feel that strength into the back of the right arm. Let's do four more. Three. Two. One. Awesome. Let's go next on to the back. Hands into a chest fly position. We are going to crunch knees and elbows in together. Go ahead, so squeeze the shoulders into the front. Squeezing front deltoids and pectoralis as you lift yourself up from the floor, bring the knees up as well trying to touch elbow and knee together as you bring your rib cage towards your hips. God, every time you come up, exhale all the air out, belly button down towards your spine. Let's hold here and go ahead, extend arm and leg one at a time, same side moving together. Good, so elbow touches knee and then arm reaches away from toes. Elbow touches knee, arm reaches away from toes, alternating side to side. Good, now your head could be up or down, but I really want you to keep the rib cage drawn towards the hips, no matter what you choose. And I want you to keep your belly button pulled back towards your spine. So you've got that spinal stability and core connection as you reach the arm and leg out. Awesome, let it go, let it go. Stretch all the way from your fingertips to your toes. God, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Get that stretch along the core. Now let's pull everything back up, elbows to knees, and then shoot out from hands to toes. Good, extending arms and legs, and then pulling everything right back into a nice tight crunch. Extend, and then flex. Reach, and then draw inward. Oh, 
awesome. You are doing so great. So great. Keep it going. We are in the home stretch of our workout today. Go ahead, wrap your arms around your legs, little circle through the knees. And then bring those knee circles around the other way, massaging into the lower back. Fantastic. Now we're going to push up from here. So knees are bent. You're going to push into the backs of the arms. So now we're working more back muscle and rear deltoids. So drive the elbows into the floor, lifting yourself up from the mat. Eye gaze between the knees as you rise. Go ahead, push into the backs of the elbows and then release back down. Go ahead, a fist with each hand kind of helps you drive into the back of the arm. Push, lift. Go ahead, just like an ab crunch machine. Awesome, now let's take the arms overhead, fingertips to temples, and then as you release one arm at a time, lift and reach to the opposite leg. Go ahead, fingertips by temples, lift and reach. Lift and reach. Good, now want length from fingertips all the way up to the toes, unfolding the back of the knee, lifting and crunching as you bring the hand towards the toes. Bring your rib cage towards your hips. Good, so you feel flexion into the front of the body. Working again, our main focus for today, our arms and our abs. So we get a little bit of triceps, a little bit of rectus abdominis, a little bit of transverse abdominis, your underneath, your corset muscle, and a little bit of obliques with a slight twist as you reach across. Awesome, let's go for both. Yes, flex into the back of the arm, working the tricep as you lift the feet up from the floor, reach fingertips to toes, thread rib cage to hips. Good, lift and reach, release. Up and down. So fantastic, keep it going. So good. All right, hands extending towards your heels. Walk your heels out nice and wide. Let's go for a bridge, lifting the hips up from the floor and then reach. Good, let's do the other arm. Reach up overhead, so we're holding the bridge and then just moving the arms. This is working into your intercostals a little bit, those muscles that interlace the ribs, also working into your shoulder mobility. Good, so trying to touch the thumb to the floor or maybe the back of the hand to the floor. Good, just go as far as feels right for your shoulders. Try to keep those hips elevated, driving through the heels using your hamstrings and your glutes. Awesome, we're adding a calf raise. Heel rises for the same foot as the arm that is extending overhead. Let's bring both heels up, release both hands to heels. Good, both hands up, both heels up, both hands to heels, both heels down. Good, so just an option, that calf raise, getting into the back. So all the posterior chain working in together, calves, your hamstrings, your glutes, little bit of back musculature. Good. And again, range of motion into the shoulders. Let's bring it all the way down. Lift it all the way up into a bicep curl and then release all the way back down. So the legs are extended and we're just peeling ourselves up from the floor flexing our fist up to our shoulder as we come up. 
God, this is a great partner exercise. If you have someone to wrap their hands around your ankles, it's a great one to help you rise up. Otherwise, you are just digging your heels into the floor, into the back of your mat, squeezing a little bit backs of upper inner thighs, and then really using your abs to peel yourself up as you flex those biceps. Fantastic. Awesome. Give yourself a big hug, rocking side to side, or maybe you go back to those knee circles that we did earlier. From here, let's bring the knees one side, arms to the other. Nice big stretch across the obliques, all the way from your fingertips, all the way out to your knees, switching sides. I'd feel that stretch across the outer edge of your trunk. As you bring it in front and center, wrap your arms around your legs, little rolling like a ball. Guide massaging into the back. Guide from between the shoulder blades all the way down to the tailbone. Guide, keep your abs scooped in, kind of away from the thighs. Great, let's bring it all the way up into a seated position. Big inhale all the way up to the sky. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale around to the front. Stretch across the back into the shoulders. And then open, open, open. Elbow to elbow. Fingertip to fingertip. Sweep it in. Give yourself that well-deserved hug. Let's do those triceps as well for those tricep presses that we did. And shoulders. Good. And feel free to add these back in going longer with each round. Thank you again. Don't forget to like and subscribe to let me know you want more videos like this one. I appreciate you so much. You can also follow me on social at Healy Fit. Until next time, y'all, be well.